Our next part writing exercise is in the key of G major. Even though the first chord is an E minor triad, we are not in the key of E minor. There is no cadence with the formula major 7 to major 3. Use the figured base to do your Roman numeral analysis. It starts with a root position 6 triad. The second chord is a triad with the third in the base, which means the root must be D. It is a 5-6 chord. Remember, the function, the Roman numeral, is determined by the root, not the base. The third chord is a root position tonic. Beat 4 has the third in the base, E, so the root must be C. It is a 4-6 chord. The second measure starts with a triad with a fifth D in the base. The root must be G. It is a 1-6-4 chord. The penultimate chord is a root position 5, and the final chord is a root position 1. The melody ends on DO we have a perfect authentic cadence with a cadential 164 chord. Now let's part write the inner voices. The bass has the root and the soprano has the third in the opening chord. We need a fifth and another root, a B and another E. The only way to fit these notes in between the bass and the soprano is to put the B in the tenor and the E in the alto. In the second chord, the bass is singing the third and the soprano is singing the fifth. We need a root, D, and will double either the soprano or the root depending on your preference. The alto can move down by step to sing the root and the tenor can move down by step to double the soprano. Notice the stepwise contrary motion approach to the octave. In the following tonic triad, the bass has the root and the soprano has the third. We need a fifth, D, and another root. The alto is already singing a D and can stay there. The tenor will continue its downward stepwise movement to double the root at the unison. Take a moment to look at the soprano and tenor lines. The soprano starts on DO and moves by step to ME. The tenor starts on ME and moves by step to DO. This trading of notes, often using passing motion, is called voice exchange. The predominant 4-6 chord, C-E-G, has the third in the bass and the root in the soprano. We need a G and another C. The tenor can stay on the G and the alto can move down by step to the C. Again, notice the stepwise contrary motion to the octave. The cadential formula starts with the 1-6-4 chord. The fifth is in the bass and must be doubled. Remember, the root and the third are tendency tones in the cadential 6-4 chord. The third is in the soprano. The note G is already being sung by the tenor, so we will keep the root in the tenor. The alto will move up by step to double the bass. Again, notice the stepwise contrary motion to the octave. Moving to the 5 chord, the alto will stay on D. The soprano and tenor will complete their tendencies and move down by step. Resolving to the tonic, the leading tone in the tenor can resolve as shown. Again, notice the stepwise contrary motion to the octave. Or it may be frustrated and sing the fifth, D. The alto must sing the third of the chord. B. 